Welcome back to NSDC Gaming, guys. My name is Senior Ass Hat, and welcome to a review for the new Transformers universe made by the same people who made RuneScape. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Jagex is finally fucking off with RuneScape and trying something new. Um, and when I say fucking off from RuneScape, they're not really fucking off. They're still doing their thing. But, of course, they are branching out and uh, trying new ideas. So, I am level 1, I really just did the tutorial so I can give you guys a first look um, at what my opinion is of this game, where it is still fresh in beta, you can sign up now, all you gotta do is go to transformersuniverse.com, or just type it in on Google and you guys can get a free account. So, uh, starting off here we have uh, quite a few selection of, uh, right now I'm a Decepticon, you can pick Autobot or Decepticon, I went Decepticon. Uh, quite a few for open beta. I mean, you obviously get more as you go, and that is a fucking Decepticon. Jesus Christ, look at the size of that hammer. That's a band hammer right there, ladies and gentlemen. So, yeah, basically, you start off as Rampart. Uh, this is basically the person you play in the tutorial with his big motherfucking axe. Uh, and you get these guys pretty much straight out the gate there. So, um, so we got Hotwire, who looks pretty... Pretty normal, I guess, as a Decepticon. You have the purple, purple skin and stuff like that. Nothing really impressive. And apparently, there's no down payment for Hotwire if you get that joke. And he's a medic class. He's a soldier. F Fort Knox, I get it. And Drive By, Dead of Night, Demolisher. So we're gonna play as uh, Drive By. We'll try Drive By. Um, and we're, of course, this is free to play. I'm just going to go through a little bit of the, uh, a little bit of the stats here. So, first off, you have your profile, which this is the first time I've gone in here. So you get like uh, different medals for different things. There is actual PvP in this game, which I'm not going to like at all because I don't do PvP. So you get your barracks. You can get like resprays where you can change the color. Although these are. Um, Basically the currency in the game these little symbols right here. I can't click on it. I'll say buy uh, But you actually can buy items since it is a free-to-play uh, so basically it, I don't really like games like this because it really does force your hand in doing things to actually grow Bigger, but you can become a founder which costs a lot of money like we're talking anywhere between $30 to $500 uh, and of course you get different perks with being a founder and stuff. So um, Yeah, we have the warriors. So these are all the warrior types there's uh, Augments like different uh, sprays and plants you can become stronger and see like right here This is just a basic relic buy so a thousand relics for four dollars nine nine cents So if you come back over here, this guy right here is basically like what is it like 30 bucks? No, 20 bucks. 20 bucks for a person, essentially. But anyway, let's get out of that. And let's go back into profile. Or barracks, rather. We're going to deploy. And we're going to move on. So, anytime you deploy someone, you start off in your home base, which is the Leviathan. So, and this is where you're going to interact with people for the first time, essentially. And it basically just loads up like this. Shows you different parts of your base. Which takes a while, apparently. There we go. So it's auto queuing for match. So basically, we're just going to let it auto queue. Um, so right now, the war is going on. Decepticons are winning by 20%, which is awesome. And right now we're just searching for a game. And these are real people walking around, by the way. So you have your hangar access where we just were. I enter ground bridge for quick select a mission. And we'll do that. Or no, we'll just let it do its auto queue. Which is awesome because I mean most games you'd actually have to like go in, pick a game type you want to play, and do it that way. But this way we're just actually gonna jump in, so. Now I haven't seen the uh, the Autobot side, but I'm assuming it's sort of the same thing. You get a bow, you get three uh, things starting off, and then you go from there. Now, um, 
where Optimus Prime and Megatron come in. Uh, you don't actually see them yet, but it's all good. Let's go. And it's kind of weird how this is played, because you start off... Okay, well, you start off like this, but I mean, you can transform into your vehicle. But driving is so weird, because I'm using my mouse to turn right now. Like, if I'm using the WASD keys, you can't use A and D to turn. You actually have to use your mouse. So, it it's really weird how they did that. And, yeah, I'm going to use that. So, basically, you click that, and you can change your, your person. Ready up. Eliminate the Autobots. So we just go. Now it seems kind of laggy. You guys also have to remember that this is in beta. And I think it just came out recently. So if it gets too bad, I'll turn the graphics down so we don't lag as much. Because right now we have it on like ultra high. Like the highest you can go. Oh, I see someone. I'm gonna chomp his ass up. That's right, bitch. Shocking your ass, shocking your ass. Oh, bud, you're so dead. So, I mean, it's it's pretty self-explanatory, like, everybody has a shield, and you wear down the shield, and... So, for example, my shield's down, so I'm gonna retreat before I get ripped apart, and I'm just gonna hit him from far away. Critical alert. Nope! Oh, shit. I'm getting taken down. Oh, damn! I'm out! I'm outy. Ooh, oh, I'm dead. Ah, see? Defeated systems offline, so you get defeated by, and you can buy, inst buy relics to insta-revive, or you can wait 11 seconds. So we're just gonna wait. And while I'm doing that, I'm actually just gonna jump that down. So apply. There we go. And then we basically have to wait for him to be repaired. So we're just going to use hot wire for now. So the game is still really rough because it is legitimately just coming into beta. So I'm going to allow all like the little little bumpiness like from the terrain and how it looks kind of like crap and stuff. But I mean, you can't really expect very much from a free to play that is just coming into beta, right? So What's up, bitches? Oh, there's three of them there. I'm just gonna fuck off and run. Yeah. Oh, I see you over there. Pew! 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 Oh, shit. No. Why am I a truck with a van? It's kind of weird. Ugh. Another bad thing about driving with a mouse. You get stuck everywhere. Out. Transform. What's up, bitch? Bam! Up in your shit. Oh, I'm gonna die. Yeah, I died. Damn it. Let's go back to the hangar and pick drive. Well, we're going to pick Rampart. Rampart's a soldier, therefore he has a lot more shield and stuff, so we'll just do that. And he has a motherfucking chain gun. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm just gonna rip them apart. Oh, grenades have no fucking... Have no walk on, which sucks. I like how you transform like that. Like, it actually looks like it would in the movie or the show. Like, it, like you fall into it and then you just go, like, really fast. Compared to what you normally see, where it'd be like, boop, 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 boop. You have to, like, stand still and do it. I'm coming for you, bitch. I got your ass. What's up, bitch? And once his spark is revealed, then basically you get. That's right. Damage. I got my huge fucking axe wielding up. And then as soon as I get a hold of this guy, he's done. Transform, get up close to him. And grenades do a lot more damage to sparks, so that's exciting. So see, now we're just ripping this guy apart, so it's all good. And I don't know why he's just standing there, but... You don't, bud. My grenades do more damage. Gotcha. Woo! First kill. Grass is mine, bud. Your buns are mine. <laughs> oh, shit. Get out. Out. Gotcha. I'll hit you from over here while I get in the rebound, bitch. Oh shit! Shit's going south. Oh shit! Out. Howdy. Out. Slow, no. There we go. Transform. Oh, I'm dead. Shit. All right, let's get back to the hangar and pick another one. So, uh, we can do hot water, drive-by, rather. So, really, with this, I think it's going to take a lot to get used to because how, just how the controls are set up, it's kind of weird. And I hope you guys don't hear the clicking of my keyboard over, over my voice. This guy's a medic, so we're just gonna go heal this guy up. He needs our help, let's go! Fuck you, he's here. Where are we? Wait, no, it's our guy, never mind. Razor Blades isn't, though. What's up? That 
guy's glitching. <laughs> oh god. Let's go. I got more fucking chain gun. I'm oh shit. Oh no. No, you don't. I lose in that fight. Oh shit. Yeah, I'm out. Peace. Come on, fire them missiles. All your ass is mine, bud. Your buns are mine. Get over here. Gotcha. Oh, you are pissed, bud. What's up, Bridge Blades? Taking your ass out, not gonna lie. Taking down your shield, taking down your shields. I don't give a shit, I'm taking down your shields. Oh, he's dead. Woo! Kicking ass! But we're losing. Oh, we are losing. Oh, no, wait, we're the Decepticons. Right. I've got the symbol there for a sec. No, we're winning. We're one away from winning. Yep, that's two against one. I'm out. Up. Shit. Fine, you wanna go hand to hand, bitch? I'll take your ass. Nope. Never mind. Oh, what the hell? Oh, I'm slowed, that's why. Ah. <laughs> Overheat. Alright, so let's do. Oh, never mind, we won. So, yeah. Decepticon. Ho 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 ho. For Megatron. Either way, so yeah, that's that's pretty much essentially the the gist of it so far. So I mean, you get relics when you when you beat people and stuff. So it's pretty awesome. Energon collected. No, oh, Rampart fucking murdered man. Ah, oh, go Rampart. Repair an offline bot in the hangar bay. Earn your first commander level up. Whoop whoop. Escape artist. Yeah. Jesus. Huh. <laughs> Deal 5,000 damage to an enemy player. Five assists. Get three. Get the killing blow on three players without dying. That's nice. Look at that. Five and, f five and four. Ah, it's a good first game, I think. Skill. Haha, <laughs> 12.5. Huh. Alright, guys. So let's return to base. And we'll give a little bit more of an overview of what I think of the game so far. So you guys seen the gameplay, so it's pretty much um, what you'd expect would be Autobots versus Decepticons. So that's, that's pretty good. Um, I do like how they give you, uh, give you I'm going to say robots, robots that aren't really known. Like you're not going to get Starscream, you're not going to get fucking uh, Megatron, you're not going to get Optimus Prime. Because obviously those are the big guys and that would just be boring to play. If you want to play that, go play, like, War for Cybertron or whatever, those games on the Xbox. So, yeah, the, the un... Actually, I'm just going to cancel that queue right now. Cancel. No, I do not want to join PvP. All right. 
So, yeah, you, you, you get the smaller bots that aren't really well known, which is which is kind of exciting. Like, uh, yeah, there's none here that I real, really know. And I never watched the 80s version of uh, Transformers. I watched all the, the newer movies and stuff like that. Um, but I used to have a shit ton as a kid. But, no, I haven't heard of any of these, which is kind of exciting. So, I mean, you're not going to get the, the big guys. You're going to play as the little guys for once. Um, tuning, I never really went into here before. Uh, oh, so you basically get to customize your power cores and stuff like that. Which is kind of exciting. Uh, I really get to make the, uh, your Decepticon your own with how the resistance is put up. Uh, I want spark damage, if anything. Because, yeah, but weak against shield. Spark and shield... Let's see, so we got 14.4. Actually, let's put that into Omni Dam- or no, do Shield Damage, because Shield Damage, which is not available, not applicable. Um, yeah, we'll do Omni Damage for this guy. And Drive-By, we'll do Shield Damage, because he really does work on the shield. And you, I'm going to do... Wait, you're the Medic, so I'm going to do Repairing if anything because that's always good to have so overall with with what they've given us so far where it really just did come in to come into fruition for this game so i'm going to give this a game out of 10 probably about a five right now uh it is really glitchy uh the controls are something that's going to take a lot to get used to which is um Definitely a turn off for some people where you just can't jump in and get the controls right away Especially with that mouse thing like where you have to turn moving your mouse. That's kind of annoying Especially when you're trying to do a quick quick, quick getaway uh, So yeah, definitely as mentioned a five it could go higher once the game actually uh, develops a little bit more So I would definitely give it a play if you if you're a fan of Transformers in general I would definitely give it a play, but if you're just looking for a free free-to-play fun game to kill some time I would definitely try it out as well because I can see this becoming uh, a game that will be on a lot of people's radars so plus it's made by fucking Jagax right so they they've done very well with RuneScape and they've really listened to people which for most games you don't really get to hear about so they definitely love to hear about your feedback as well so guys I hope you guys enjoyed this review of Transformers Universe definitely give it a try if you want to add me my name is obviously Senior Asshat and on here it is NSDC Gaming so definitely I will come on to check if you guys want to play we can jump into a party on Skype or something we guys can all play so guys my name is Senior Asshat signing off from NSDC Gaming again I will put the link on the screen where you can download this game or you can just go to runescape.com and they'll have a beta there that you can click. So guys I will see you guys next time and make sure you leave a like for this awesome review of the beta and I hope to see you guys on there very soon. See you guys later.